And here you go with your career path. And uh, I want to start with uh, IT fundamental, which is being asked many times. And this is for those who wanted to start their career in IT and tech without having any prior knowledge. So if you come to IT fundamentals, and if you look at what is covered in this course, basically, you need to have a structured uh, syllabus where you can go and learn. So it really doesn't matter uh, what's your IT experience or not because it is designed for people who are not in IT. So if you're coming from high school background or non-IT, uh, this is where you need to start learning from the syllabus of this uh, program. Uh, not necessarily you have to take the certification, but going through the structured syllabus will help you understand the basic concepts uh, in IT. And from there, you can build up on, on different level of a skill set. And this is how you can start growing and developing your career. So I'll skip the exam. But again, uh, this is what they look for, uh, where you can find different software applications, some high level security, what are the features and all that stuff. And what skills you will learn because if I were to tell you go learn and this and that, it will be so random. So it's better they have designed this structured syllabus where they will cover some IT concepts and terminology here. Uh, they will uh, be covering some software development topics what are the databases fundamental concept around databases what is an IT infrastructure what are the servers PCs and all that stuff wireless Wi-Fi wired connection what are the application software like Microsoft Office Outlook Adobe and you name it and a little bit on the security so who will benefit any student considering a career in IT and the professional basically who want to move into IT and also people who are in marketing sales and um, they can or learn something on IT, it can also help them. And comp is very well known, so that's what they pretty much cover. Um, now, uh, and also as part of the core fundamentals uh, uh, from comp, yeah. So let me open um, fundamentals. Uh, course detail here from exam objectives and that's what you need to be knowing and what you will be learning here for example computing IT infrastructure databases and then you will also be learning how to install a software so for example how to install Microsoft Word in your computer maybe some other antivirus uh, on your computer and how to set up a Wi-Fi connection let's say you bring a laptop how you would set up a Wi-Fi connection at your home on your cell phone and all that it's pretty common thing but it's still uh, in any work and environment when you go for a job these kind of scenario and troubleshooting skill you will be evaluated based on that uh, further down the road it has some concept based on exam okay this much percent of the topic will come in exam so again if you prepare for the exam that's fine but I want to go through real quick uh, what is covered they say basically um, most of the theory basically so you can pretty much learn the basic uh, thing hexadecimal and binaries these are the basic stuff you can learn uh, not a hands-on all that's all theory stuff um, uh, you should be learning about some of the input devices output uh, again this area also uh, pretty much theory here and who doesn't know these kilobytes, gigabytes, pretty much on your cell phone, you the memory and all that. So these units are very important for you to understand. A gigahertz, basically you have your computer or cell phone where you have a CPU, which is measured in gigahertz. So those are the areas. And then uh, troubleshooting methodology that you should be able to troubleshoot, uh, support, call, 
So what would you be collecting the information? How are you going to collect the information? How would you going to identify the symptoms and all that? So that's the area which is covered here. Again, here in infrastructure, uh, okay, as I told you before, networking, wired, wireless uh, type of the cables and all that, peripheral devices, graphic card, your display, that will be covered and you should know how these things work, how you can play around, change the settings and all that stuff. Um, 32-bit file system versus 64-bit, that's important. Pretty much what we use today is all 64, but legacy still has 32 bits. So concepts around that will help you. Storage is very important. Today we all have SSD drives on your cell phone and laptops. GPU is for use for graphical processing unit and all that stuff. Compare different storage type, which is very important. Um, but uh, when we go to cloud, you really don't need to know. In cloud, it doesn't happen. Uh, you just go upload the data in one drive, Google Drive and all that stuff. Uh, uh, so that's, uh, but it's still good to know those areas. And then IoT is modern, so it's still good to see they are covering IoT because it can help you develop your career uh, towards the cloud. And some basic networking concepts, these are, are all very, very important. You cannot ignore them. You've got a master on that. DNS, DHCP, all the basic protocols you must learn. Um, for router at your home, you usually have firewall, what is an access point. This is all very important. Uh, networking, wireless networking, all that stuff pretty common and pretty important. Application and software you need to know. Purpose of the operating system, you cannot ignore it. This is a must have. You must know the operating system. Linux, Win, uh, Windows, mobile OS and all that stuff. They are very, very important. Different type of files. But again, when you go to cloud, it really doesn't matter. But always good to know. But that's part of the operating system. And here's some other stuff on the operating system. So we keep going and see uh, these are the basic stuff is covered in this course, how the browser works, what are the proxies. So it's pretty good. It's covered all the fundamentals you need to know entering into the IT and you should spend good enough time learning the skills. And how you're going to learn the skill basically you can find some of the tutorial from CompTIA on their YouTube channel. Some of the folks they have put some YouTube channel or you can take some self study yourself or you can have some instructor led training. So you can go each and every section, you learn it, you do some hands-on practicing yourself because the more you practice, the more confidence you have and the more better way you can learn it. And you can start learning uh, based on the fundamentals and then start learning and playing around yourself. So basically all depends how many hours you put on a week, on a weekend, it all depends. But this is a must have for someone looking for a career in IT should go through uh, the uh, syllabus of this particular course. So if you have any question, let me know. More than happy to help you and see you in my next video.